Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Bradley Thompson here and this is episode 28 of the Living the Canadian Dream podcast. We're back. We're ready to rock, okay? I've been gone for a few days, but I'm back. And guess what? I got myself a new mic stand because I didn't even have a mic stand to begin with, all right? We are moving up in the goddamn world, all right? If you're watching the video podcast right now, you can see my hands are free. I'm out here finger tutting, okay? Out here finger tutting dance moves, all right? I'm excited to be here, okay? I'm excited to tell you guys some awesome stories and to provide you with a very cool behind the scenes interview that I had last week, okay? Let's just hop right into it. Basically, last week I got invited to an awesome VIP event ran by uh, it was it was run by um Melissa DeMarco and it was a VIP event for an advanced screening of the Avengers Endgame, okay? The Avengers Endgame. Only the hottest movie of 2019, okay? Get woke right now. If you haven't seen Avengers Endgame right now, I don't know what you're doing, okay? We need to figure this out. And if you haven't seen the movie, you got to figure it out, okay? I can't help you with everything, okay? Straight up. (laughs) But seriously, I had a fantastic week last week, okay? So I went to this uh, this Avengers Endgame premiere, and uh, it was a fantastic event. It was a VIP event. I've never been to an advanced screening of a movie before. So that was hype alone, okay? And basically this event was done up by uh, Melissa DeMarcos and her PR company out there, and it was a fantastic time. It brought together a bunch of bloggers, influencers, and just like, you know, cosplay people, food bloggers, foodies, all that sort of stuff from the Toronto area, okay? And even YouTubers. I know there's some YouTubers there as well. So a bunch of us went and, you know, I think this, the, the VIP theater that we were in sat around 25 people. Um, but yeah, we went there. It was fantastic. Uh, the event, we all, we, all, we all got there. I can't even speak right now because I'm so excited, okay? I'm so excited to tell you guys what went down, okay? I'm excited to tell you guys what went down. So basically I met a bunch of bloggers, a bunch of influencers from across like, you know, Toronto and the GTA. Very cool people. I'm excited I was able to connect with a bunch of very interesting people. I met people that were food bloggers. I haven't taken a picture that nice of food in my life, okay? Pizza Nova was one of the sponsors for this event and they brought out pizza. And I took a picture for my Insta story, standard bad picture that I take, okay? And then I look through the hashtag, people are taking photos that they look, they look, (laughs) these photos look like they just took them with like a professional DSLR camera, okay? Making me look bad, okay? Making me look bad. The photos look delicious, professional photos, okay? And I'm out here taking crooked photos blurry they look like i've been taking them with a blackberry curve okay that's the kind of photos i'm taking and that's all good all right so i got to meet some food bloggers got to meet some youtubers got to meet some lifestyle bloggers you know it's crazy like to see like to come together in a room with like a bunch of like-minded people just grinding doing their side projects and just trying to build a following trying to build a community around their personal brand and brand okay so that was very cool I'm always excited to go to events like that because you meet a lot of awesome people. You know what I mean? Not only the people that are running it, but you also get to meet the people that are there. And I think the way that Melissa ran this event was fantastic because it was smaller. That way, you know, you're able to interact with a lot more people. I find like big events, like huge conferences with like thousands of people there. You know what I mean? They are really hard to interact with people. Like people, if they're at a conference, they're just dropping down business cards left and right, dropping down business cards, tossing them up in the air, just trying to meet as many people as they want, as you, as they want. Right. And it's pretty, you know, it's next to impossible to meet a lot of people at those events because you don't have enough time to like, you know, actually have a conversation with somebody. So this event was small enough. We were real. We were where we, I can't even speak right now. Okay. I'm excited. All right, I'm excited to be back, all right? 
This event was small enough that we were able to interact with each other and like connect, share information, um, and just talk about like our projects and stuff like that. So it was dope. And then obviously we saw the advanced screening of Avengers Endgame, which was sick. Let me break this down for you. Get the free popcorn, the hookups, the pizza, all that sort of stuff, okay? All that sort of stuff. We were at Imagine Cinema Square Market. Imagine Cinema Square Market. I think that's it. Front Street. It's across the street from St. Lawrence Market. Imagine Cinema's Market. Yes, I think. I'm going to double check that just so I get you guys the right name. Imagine Cinema's Market Square. I was so close, okay? That's what it's called. And basically, it's an older theater. And, you know, you walk in, you're just like, okay, it's an older theater. That's all good. Um, it's not like a Cineplex or anything. Uh, it's an older theater in Toronto, downtown Toronto, the heart of the six, okay? Some people would say the heart of the six, all right? And it's an older th cinema. You go downstairs and you know it's a it's a nice cinema inside it's not like older like it's like oh it's like this is a bad place no like it's older like just the design is older okay and let me finish my statement before you start attacking me okay it's an older cinema but they renovated it and you really notice the renovations in the actual movie theaters so in the actual movie theaters like at cineplex you sit on a regular chair okay the chairs in these theaters, the one that we were at, the VIP theater, and I think they have them on every, th I think they have all the chairs, like, I think it's every theater. I might be wrong, but the one that we were in, the chairs were legit. They were like lazy boy chairs, okay? You could sit back, put your feet up, it reclines, okay? It reclines. And you, you're like laying in bed, sitting on a cloud, okay? Fantastic experience. Honestly, I saw Avengers Endgame like two days after that because I already bought tickets before I knew about this event. And I sat in, I think, uh, I don't know what, it, what is it, the DX or AVX, the AVX theater at Cineplex, and they have the seats go back a little bit. Bro, no comparison, okay? My feet at Cineplex are still touching the sticky floor, okay? My seat at Imagine Cinemas, hovering in the air. Hovering in the air because they don't care, all right? They care about the consumer, and that's what they're hooking us up with, the VIP seating. They care about me, my feet, my luxury. <laughs> and honestly, I don't think I will ever enjoy another movie at a Cineplex, okay? I might have to always commute to Toronto <laughs> like that was a game changer honestly like sitting in a lazy boy for a three hour long movie oh it felt it felt like nothing okay it felt like nothing like people were complaining and I honestly I felt it the second time I watched the movie the three hours uh, because you know you're just sitting down for three hours but when you're laying down for three hours no big deal hitting those pressure points all right flexing on them haters all right uh <laughs> so at this event i had the opportunity to sit down with melissa demarco herself okay we actually sat down we went down to a theater and we recorded a quick 15 minute podcast so cool so cool and i'm very happy about it like i wish there was more time and we could have just gone through so many different topics like i wanted to talk about personal branding i want to talk about the entertainment industry comedy all that stuff maybe next time okay show her some love all that sort of stuff and maybe we'll sit down for a regular podcast in the future but all i gotta say this 15 minute podcast is gold okay because she gives you guys some sick tips about personal branding, about, you know, her journey in the entertainment industry. And it's just fantastic. Okay. You'll learn from an actual professional, somebody who's an influencer in the entertainment industry. Okay. So let me give you Melissa DeMarco's bio right now. Okay. If you don't know who she is, let me break it down for you. All right. Melissa DeMarco is a host, journalist actress, 
and producer, okay? Let me break it down, all right? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Okay, Melissa is the face and force behind Out There with Melissa DeMarco. If you don't know what Out There with Melissa DeMarco is, it's basically her TV show, okay? It is an award-winning, internationally distributed comedy and celebrity interview show that stars actors, actresses, and, you know, amazing people, okay? Basically, she meets interviews and talks with a lot of awesome people like we actually sat down did the podcast and i don't know if we talked about it on the podcast but she's interviewed like all the avengers character all the avengers cast and all that sort of stuff and she does these huge interviews like if you look at her website look online you'll see like she she's met like everybody she's interviewed everybody in the industry it's crazy so it's very cool to sit down with somebody like that who has that industry experience it's amazing um, Melissa is one of Canada's only female late night entertainment hosts, and she's a dynamic, multifaceted, and an entertainment personality. She intimately involved with everything from acting, producing, interviewing, hosting, and crafting stories and plots at her two production companies, Out There Productions Inc. and DeMarco Entertainment Inc. She was also Mrs. H the teacher and late principal at Degrassi Community School for eight seasons. If you don't know what that is, that's Degrassi's next generation TV show. And a lot of people will know her from that. I knew, you know, I don't usually watch entertainment, you know, interviews and stuff like that. I'll watch it like, you know, some of them like because they'll show them on like the red carpet and stuff like that. Um, but I know if you don't know her from that, you'll definitely know her from Degrassi. I know, especially in Canada, Degrassi is huge with people like Drake and all that sort of stuff. So it's such a cool thing. Um, let me let me finish up this bio. I just want to make sure I get everything so you guys know who we're talking to. OK, when she's not asking acting, I can't even speak. OK. When she's not acting, Melissa draws on her deep experience as an award-winning journalist, producer, and director. She's directed and produced the documentary Dream Seeker, Nia Vordalos, which was a winner of the U.S. International Film and Video Festival's Gold Camera Entertainment Award. She's even a director and a producer. Amazing. She's won an award for that, sh for that, for that documentary. Amazing. It's incredible. Uh... And then the last thing, actually, I think that's it. I, I, I'm going to link all the bio and all that sort of stuff so you guys can learn more about Melissa. Um, she's done everything. And she's made a name for herself in the industry. Like, she's huge. And it, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing to see uh, and actually get to sit down with somebody. Uh, if you want to learn more about Melissa, check out her website at Out There with Melissa. You can also find her on social media at uh, Melissa DeMarco. I just want to make sure. I'm pretty sure it's Melissa DeMarco at every, on everything. Let's just make sure, though. Yeah, Melissa DeMarco on everything. You know, if you go to her Instagram, she's verified. You'll know exactly who she is. You'll even see a picture of us together, okay? Because we're homies now, okay? <laughs> no, she was amazing. Like, it was very cool to sit down with somebody uh, that has been able to develop themselves in an industry that's so competitive. Somebody, you know, it's amazing to sit down with somebody who was able to make a name for themselves and, you know, have a, 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 a TV show that's been running for years. It's crazy. It's a very cool thing. And, um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to ramble too much, you know, too much more. Uh, but I think that's it. I think that's it. So, I had a fantastic time at the event, uh, the Out There event with Melissa DeMarco, and it was it was fantastic. So I hope you enjoy this interview. Uh, honestly, we only had 15 minutes, and I didn't want to take her, you know, away from the event because it was just getting started. And you know, I think in that time, I was able to ask her some questions that will not only like be interest interesting, but they'll help you 
if you're trying to get into entertainment, you know, if you're trying to build your personal brand, I know a lot of you guys are, and I think it'll just be entertaining, okay? I think it'll just be entertaining. Um, I think that's it. That's all I got to say. Uh, to give you a rundown, a couple quick things. Check out Melissa DeMarco's, check out her website, okay? Make sure you check out her website. You know, check out the sponsors of the event as well. You know, if you need pizza, Pizza Nova, all that sort of stuff, all right? They were sponsors. There's, I think, Pizza Nova, Oliver's Jewelry, and the cinema. The cool thing about, like, that whole cinema as well is, you know, in Cineplex where they have that, that young guy that's showing on the start of every movie? Like, he does, like, oh, hey, I'm a... What's his name? Hey, I'm Chad. I don't know. His name's probably Chad. Um, oh, Tanner. I think his name's Tanner. It's like a very specific name. Okay? It's a very unique name. Tanner. Let's say his name's Tanner. But his video shows at the start of every movie. At Imagine Cinema's Market Square and Imagine Cinema movie theaters, Melissa DeMarco's like clips from her interviews and stuff like that they show before every single movie very cool thing so that's one of her partners as well um so yeah check out all that stuff follow her on social media you know give her some love because she's doing very cool things and you know we talked about it uh i don't know if it was on the podcast or off the podcast but one of the cool things that she's doing are is like aside from the tv shows and stuff like that is that she's running these events to get people together like bloggers influencers and people doing very cool things in the industry um so she's trying to get people together especially young people which is sweet um i met a lot of like young people that were like just doing very cool things and yeah i don't know man it was, it was a very cool thing so shout out to melissa thank you so much for jo uh for doing this podcast it was an honor and uh without further ado let's hop into this podcast right now you're going to be listening to to a podcast with Melissa DeMarco and me, <laughs> Bradley. <laughs> Welcome to Canadian Dream. <laughs> it's all good. Um, yeah, so tell me a little bit about yourself. For anybody that hasn't lis uh, listened to you or watched you before, uh, I know one of my, the first times that like I saw you, I saw you a while ago because I know Larika and I saw her like she likes some stuff on I think it was LinkedIn or something like that I was just like oh this is really cool really cool so tell us a little bit about yourself tell yes. us a little bit about out there the PR stuff and yeah. yeah yeah so um so Melissa DeMarco yeah, yeah. I'm an actor and I'm a showrunner producer Perfect. Yeah. so I started my career in acting a lot of people know oh. me from a show called Degrassi the next generation yeah, yeah. I play Ms. H yeah. uh, who was initially the science teacher and then I became the principal For sure, yeah. so that show syndicated all across the world and that kind of yeah. put a mark on me as an actor For sure, but yeah. in the meantime I was also doing entertainment journalism and comedy is sort of my hit what yeah, I like yeah. to do yeah. so I came up with the show concept where it's like wouldn't it be interesting if we followed the life of an entertainment journalist and what really happens behind the scenes but almost like kind of a POV of my life yeah, and yeah. The, the comedy that ensues For sure. and all the celebrities that help me fix my life because they're yeah. part of my story so I came up with this idea pitched it to network and they said that's pretty cool yeah. so now we're in our 14th season yeah we're one of the longest running Canadian comedy series really cool. yeah. and I have an awesome team that helps kind of make it all come together yeah. so that's kind of where it all started so yeah we're really a television brand yeah. a television show and really finding a different unique spin on how to tell entertainment stories yeah yeah so what happened with that is is that we branched off into the big the, you know the big social media Platforms, of course, yeah. And we decided to offer these kind of experiences that yeah. you're invited to, yeah, where yeah. we want like minded, what we like to call the circle of Melissa's influencers. Yeah, yeah. Where you get to come in and experience something a little different. Yeah, it's very cool. That's a very cool thing. So you took your personal brand and the show, and then you made it into something even bigger. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. That, there's a lot of people that do that too and it's it's a very interesting thing like you know like there's like the Neil Patels of the world where like you know he's a famous like marketer startup guy and then he becomes like you know he went the other way actually I think he went to became a personality after but right. yeah, yeah that's and cool it, though. And this all kind of happened uh, organically so yeah. what we did what happened about a year or so ago is sure. we 
you know, because I specialize in in these kind of fun, quirky entertainment interviews, yeah. is we teamed up with Imagine Cinemas. Yeah. And we thought it'd be a great way in the pre-show that they have our content and the celebrities that I interview. For sure, yeah. Before every movie and every Imagine Cinema. That's awesome. So we thought it'd be really cool if we did an out there fan experience because we do them throughout the year and we kind of build our influencers and yep. our fans. So tonight yeah. it'll be the Melissa influencers yeah, and yeah. the fans that get to meet each other That's awesome. and they get to experience something. Cool. And what's great about Imagine Cinemas is that they've upgraded, as you can see here at Market Square. Yeah, yeah. Some of the theaters have these really cool lounge recliners yeah. and I'm telling you, it's like... They're like it, Lazy Boys, yeah. Right? Yeah, and yeah. you feel like you're at home but you're not because yeah. you have bigger screen, bigger experience. Yeah, right? yeah. This is... So Legit. part of the experience yeah. was let's have like an intimate setting at, sure. at a movie theater and make the experience about, you know, big blockbuster, obviously Avengers Endgame. Yeah, yeah. So we made this an exclusive out there event. For sure. And people get to enjoy themselves. Yeah. And that's what it's really about is is feeling like you can go back to your followers, people yeah. that really want to know about you and you can share this with them. For sure. Yeah, that's really cool. Mm. So I have a question for you. So yeah. I have a few questions. Um, so why did you name it Out There? That's really an interesting question because when I named the show Out There, I for was sure. thinking of a bunch of different names. Yeah. And I think one of them was Last Call. Yeah. And I thought that was pretty cool because we used to be after David Letterman. That's really so cool. So we were yeah. late, late night. That's awesome. But then I thought, what if sometime one day we're in prime time what if that changes yeah. last call seems kind of weird right yeah, and yeah. then i realized um that i think uh, carson daly um he has a show called last call For sure so good thing i didn't, didn't name it that yeah yeah. Sued. yeah yeah <laughs> so then i thought my my personality my brand is getting out there being out there for sure and i said out there and i adam who's my director adam powell's been with me yeah. since I'm the pilot said no no you should call it out there with melissa demarco you yeah. gotta put your name on yeah, it yeah which my is name great on yeah. it i felt really weird because yeah. yeah come on it's you know late night with david letterman yeah. it's night show with jay leno it's or true. or you know jimmy fallon i said oh, okay out there with Melissa DeMarco. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I whispered it at the time. Of course, uh, yeah. But it ended up being a hit. That's and it awesome. Wasn't something I expected. Yeah, that's a very cool thing. Like, I like how you added the personal branding mm. to, like, the show. That's a really cool thing. Yeah, like, I like what you're doing. It's awesome. Um, so, my next question is sort of, why did you choose to do the PR thing once you sort of, you know, had this name yeah. for yourself? I think that, I mean, we're in the business of building content. So yeah. I build TV shows, yep. um, and that's what we do. But because we build content, yep. it's I always had this itch to give back. And it sounds kind of weird, but the giving back is that what if we had these other events? Because not everyone can be on the red carpet with me. Sure. Not everyone could, could be in my quirky head yeah, with yeah. my funny stories. Yeah. And I said, well, what if we have these like one-offs where we get to be intimate? Because I also am media. And I understand yeah. sometimes the grueling side of media that we're not always... Um, it's a challenging job. It's yeah, really yeah, hard. For sure, of course. And, and sometimes not intentionally, but they're not necessarily always respected, but not intentionally. It yeah. just happens because we're just busy and, and things have to get done. So I, well, I want to have these experiences. Yeah. So the idea was to just build really live events and experiences awesome. to extend our brand. It wasn't necessarily meant to be a publicity thing. Yeah, it just yeah. turned out that um, we, we had... Just led into It that. just led into okay. kind of doing something where it just made sense. Yeah, that's that's a really cool thing. Like, and it's, it's consistent with your brand, which I like. Like, I'm a big like sort of fan of like that's my digital marketing background is like personal branding right i love it so like when i see somebody developing like just their whole life around the personal brand it's really yeah. cool thanks yeah, yeah and it's like and i have a good team that keeps it real because yeah, yeah. it's like saying well you know we don't want to be in a stuffy place of and course. what we love about imagine cinemas it's family friendly but it's fun yeah it's meant to be really authentic so when i went into the first i think no this is us because it's very authentic yeah. it's about the people sure. and so i thought let's let's do our next uh fan experience sure. he here and let's do it in toronto because the other one i did was at imagine cinemas at promenade and oh, we okay. did it with fantastic beast yeah yeah it just happened to be another big movie yeah yeah but, and then we did another one at a restaurant so these are just awesome. ways that i get to meet fans yeah. and i get to meet my you know fellow yeah. colleagues in a setting that's more more us yeah right? yeah it's, it's really intimate it's, it's awesome yeah. it's gonna be a really good night yeah yeah um i only have a couple more questions Go for uh, it. just uh uh so i guess the next one would be 
What is one piece of personal branding advice you would give to somebody coming up in the game, like if they're a student or like somebody looking to get into entertainment or content creation? Because I think it's, um, I didn't, when I started this, see there's two things because i'm an actor my job is to go outside of myself and be For sure. be other things other people of right course, and to yeah. act other parts yeah and at the same time to be true and authentic when i do my my other branding things of course so what i like about my out there brand and the advice i can give is mm -hmm. that it is a, a combination of both and that mm -hmm. it's an extension of myself yeah and the the brand that i built is very close to me so it's extremely authentic that's awesome yeah. and i think the advice i would give is people come hey what's my shtick yeah what's yeah, my yeah. Thing? yeah what's going on yeah. but if your shtick and your thing yeah. just kind of happens yeah. then it's real yeah if that's you have to awesome fit, if you have to force it yeah unless you're like acting like unless you're like oh i'm, I'm now robert de niro i'm playing a part for sure that's one thing but if you are like an extension of yourself then right. be within the, the be within what what is you for and sure. and it'll all kind of makes sense yeah, yeah i think the few times i've fought that where it's like what it's like yeah you're funny you're quirky so go with it and i'm yeah. like oh, okay then that's it awesome. works for me because yeah. that's who i am it's very it's close to my head yeah really, yeah really so that my advice would be is is that really ch if try to find what you are and yeah. if you don't know yeah it'll kind of come out for like sure. it's not like i knew i just like right knew. off the bat you didn't know no, yeah. i just like hey this is who Developed, i am yeah. and what i like and sure. that makes it easier to say hey you know what i want to do That's i want to awesome. have this experience and it just happens in in my head and i share it with my team because it's 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 close to who i am yeah, yeah and the further you are from who you are the harder that is to do for sure I yeah find, anyway yeah yeah because like i was even at um i was doing i was speaking at sheridan yesterday mm -hmm. sheridan college and like there's a lot of students asking like oh how do i get my brand out there and yeah. stuff like how do i stand out because there's like a lot of people doing yeah. the exact same thing so and you've sort of made your way and Thanks. You're very popular, so yeah, it's it's oh, really well, cool. Yeah, really? yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. It's awesome. I it's, think it is about really like cool. not thinking about it. Yeah. Like if you think about that too much, then you sure. you forget what your purpose is. Of course. If you're passionate about what you do, and you have people will find you, sure. or you're you're doing what you love. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like saying you know living the dream. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Um, if you live the dream that you want, yeah, all the things align. I think so too. Yeah, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. it makes a lot of sense. It does. Yeah. Um, okay, one or two more questions. Go Super simple. It. Who is your favorite Avengers character? Oh my gosh! I <laughs> Since okay. it's the Avengers Endgame. All right. Well, we have to see Endgame, yeah. and then it might change. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I like most of them for different reasons. For sure. But I think I'm a little. Um, I, my, I'm a okay. I'm a big fan of, of the Hulk, and the reason is yeah, because yeah. of Mark. Ruffalo. Well, yeah, he's and a, I interviewed him. So it's awesome. more because of what happened really cool. off, yes. off screen. Yes. So on screen, it's hard to tell. I like them all. Yeah, yeah. But I like him because in real life, he's just, you want to squish him. He's such a yeah, sweet he guy. He seems like a really nice guy. Yeah. And I love his transformation and his and his attitude. For sure. But they're all cool. Yeah. And I think, see, the hard thing for me is because I've interviewed most of them. For sure. And I, I like them as human beings. Yeah, yeah. So on the screen, I'm like, but like you, I'm for like, sure. I want, I'm dying to see this. Yeah, tonight. yeah, yeah. So, it's going to be awesome. Cool. Yeah. Ooh, which one's your favorite? I like Spider Man a oh! lot. Yeah. Tom Holland is a really <laughs> oh, cool yeah. guy. Yeah. He's awesome. He's yeah. Awesome. Like, I actually really like him because, like, even like his uh, stunts and stuff a oh, lot yeah. of them he does himself because he's like an acrobatic and stuff so like after i heard that i was just like wow yeah. that's, and that's that, awesome that, uh, you, don't yeah. you love that when you hear that little fun fact yeah, yeah. i know me it's, too it's wild cool. uh, um okay the last question is yes. just what can we expect from you in the future <gasps> good question yeah. well <laughs> couple secrets yeah. well um out there the tv show yeah will be back on the airwaves awesome so go to our website and stay tuned so i can fill you in when that perfect is. yeah uh, we have a leather a few other spin-off shows of it for sure uh, we're doing a feature film awesome uh, very the cool out there brand cool so the the show um and the character melissa yeah yeah that's <laughs> uh, awesome is you know is gonna really have a face on the big screen as really well as cool. on the tv screen that's awesome and i think what we're gonna definitely continue doing are these fan experiences yeah. and people should just tune in at um i'll give my website yeah give your website give your social media okay, everything. out there with melissa.com yep and at melissa demarco is most Perfect. of my handles yep 
and we're just gonna we're gonna pop up another experience. Hey, and then, team and journalist. Oh, 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 right now. Okay. Um, You're, you guys are behind the scenes. Yes. That's me behind behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, really loud. We're gonna have to cut this short. Yeah, yeah. I think my team is now testing it's all good. the presentation. Yeah. Now, oh, you get even a sneak peek of the presentation. Yeah, this, this is all good. This oh, is all wow. Good. Okay. Awesome. You know what? Brad has got pure access right now. Yeah. We're gonna have to stop this. Otherwise, yeah. we're gonna have to kick him out. Thank you so much, <laughs> Melissa. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate. it. Thank you. It was so much fun. Living the Canadian dream.